any power sitting on my visa up 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 fire fire so i would know where to start directing hi everyone welcome to my channel my name is evelyn if you're new here welcome i love my shirts my sweatshirts and i'm really going big on inscribing the words that i want on my shirts on my shirt so this is saying i know the plans you i have for you jeremiah 29 so comment down below if you like my sweatshirt like i do <laughs> so today we're going to be talking about student visa application in nigeria specifically so stay tuned so this is like a little rant but before we get to the rant part um firstly in about a year or before the pandemic it there's been a little bit i won't even call it a little bit of um um difficulty in getting visas at the nigerian embassy so let's address the elephants in the room um i've, I've had quite a few comments or chats and people are saying oh you're putting out videos and even though it's still difficult for people to get appointment and at the embassy i'm like you don't know when things are going to turn it wasn't like this in two years or two years ago and things will change hopefully and a lot of people are putting pressure and all that and i'm also standing up and adding my mouth hopefully this video gets to the authorities that it's going to get to this video is really pinkish pink on my pink behind me pink shape but i won't have it any other way so um um around 2017 or earlier years or sorry years in the past it was quite easy once you have your like letter of admission it was quite easy for them to get to get their student visa because of course they already have offer of admission from the school but lately they started um cutting down um um they, they divided the they call this category A and category B. The last time I checked, category A is for people with scholarship or PhD or people that graduated with first class. I'm like, before they added first class and two one, and of course, people from my country are really bookish, so there were a lot of people that were able to filter to, and then they removed um, two one second class upper, and it was just sponsorship, PhD, and first class, and then so it became really really hard for people to get appointments because category b were, was or is all other people and then once people get offered of admission they now have to like postpone and postpone and like postpone the bar whatever it is their admission to next semester and next semester waiting for dates and you know and then the pandemic hit and some course some schools had to do online courses and they're like What's the essence of doing? I, I, I could have just applied for an online semester or to an online for an online masters if that's what I wanted, you know, because they were not giving admissions. P people from other countries, at least my friend in another school, she's like, people from other countries they give them visa. And they were even during the pandemic, they were, for the first few weeks or months they had to do their lectures in their country. But as time went on, things eased up. They got their visa and they, they were able to come it's really for courses that you have to do hands on experiment and stuff like that but in nigeria people are still in their country this is like the second semester going and they are doing they're still doing the courses that they can do in nigeria and so when once or when or if they give them the visa they can now come and then do the practicals that they are made to that they are made already done semesters they go i don't understand why it's 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 quite difficult or why why it is like i have admission give me visa like is he the, is it nigeria that place the hold on the visa issuing or is it the german embassy or is he a collaboration and if it's the german consulate nigerian government should be able to talk to them like because it's not even only student visa that has been difficult to get even 90 days visa a visiting visa there has not been there have not been any appointments since forever like since the beginning of this year I'm like what is happening exactly nobody is speaking i i when i when i was trying to prepare for this video yesterday i, ch I checked online and schools or sorry countries like india they were able to talk to 
the German embassy and they told them like, oh, because of the fact that things are really slowed down and offices are shut because of the pandemic, can we like find another option like so that people can get, because they, 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 there's a large community of Indians in Germany. They're like, okay, so to make things easier, the German consulate said, just, they give them a link and say, if you're from India, just click the link, this link and drop your documents. So they will review and then they'll call you. Maybe you send your passport to a particular place or maybe they'll just send them something for to enable them to travel. And once they come, maybe they'll stamp their passport. I'm like, yeah. So what's now the issue? Like, let's address the elephant in the room. What is the issue? People want to get out of the country. For whatever reason for education to educate themselves they're trying their best to look for a solution if the economy is bad let people go and like let it be it's not they're not they're not being smuggled out of the country is their right they got admission let them get visa and let them move to where they want to move fine people it might be an option to like leave the country but then the situation might warrant it you know people have struggle to put the money that is needed for them to get out of the country and then no visa like it just it just makes some people like it just want to make them feel hopeless like even after me trying to do what um what i can do like what's up other means that people try to do is to leave the country for instance because tuition is free yeah tuition is free in germany but visa is an issue so some people will go leave the country and go to maybe kotono ne or ghana some people that have like dual citizenship maybe their mom is from kotono their dad from kotono so they like go there and then use that leg to apply for student visa however all some people will actually like go to like france apply for student visa in france once they get to France, they will now apply for student visa at the German embassy in France because, yeah, I have someone that is, um, that I've met on, well, he chatted me on Instagram and he's like, he's in Barcelona and the school is expensive, like really, really expensive. Even to study for masters, they're asking for 20,000 euros. I'm like, what? When is there, even private school now asking for 20,000 euros in, in Germany here. And so people are like device, device whatever means whatever means i checked nara land and someone was like ah thank god do me i've gotten out of the country i've left or I've, I've gotten my visa and people were like how did you do this he explained like the steps it took when he when he applied when he got the dates and at the end you like <laughs> people that were already on the queue they were already feeling over that oh, okay maybe things are beginning to change and at the end it was like nb notebook I did not apply from Nigeria. <laughs> like, please stay. Notebook. Parkway. Eh? Notebook. Is it notebook? No, I, I call it notebook. Sorry. <laughs> like, please, Parkway. <laughs> like, you yeah, apply from Kotonu. How did you apply from Kotonu? Please, please, can you just drive there? They're like, no. He now said um, his mom is from Kotonu, so he has like their passport or something like that. So he has like resident permit and he could. So people would be like, okay, is there a way we can get resident permits from Kotonu or Benin Republic or Nije then once we like live there and work there you can then apply because but why, why, why would they make it the, the passport itself is not even enabling people to like travel so wild and people are looking for other opportunities for themselves and it's getting I just want to ask the question what exactly is the problem what exactly is the problem is it the German consul so I will know that we'll start writing letter to them or is it Nigerian that has refused to like like is I'm sure there's like a body. Abike Dabire is the one that is what what she she's something. She's the one. Like I'm sure she knows. At some point on Ireland I saw that someone's like, this, what is her email address? Tell them I'm sure people would have been reaching out to her to say, Mama, see what is happening. Now. Like, because they, no matter how powerful the German consulate is in Nigeria, the Nigerian government is still head over them. They can tell them to pack their load and go. You understand? If you're not giving my people visa, then what are you doing? What, you're just taking space. Mm -hmm. Exactly. So let us know. Is it Nigerian government? What did we do? What exactly is the problem? People are not being so... It's not as if they are saying, oh, give me visa. I just want to go and study. The people say, I want to go and study to better my life. I want to expand my horizon. I want to see other places. Like, there's right to travel now. Like, it's a human right. There's 
people have right to travel people have right to make cho choices that they want you understand our passport does not allow us to just carry bag and go you have to like go through visa process that all of that like people here like <laughs> my husband was like when he went the first time he went to travel to the US and he was like oh I have to apply for visa they were like it was really strange at his office they were like oh really you're like yeah and he was like mm, I hope they will give me like they will give you sure in my country we have to go and fast and pray I have to fast and pray like you have to give your pass your your pastor your passport to pray on and pray that it's not be rejected and once oh no it was even the uk the, the first way he applied was the uk and when he sent his passport and went for the interview and he didn't hear for them like ah, i hope they'll give me that they'll give you don't worry if you've not received any email that means everything is fine and you just get your passport with your visa stamp like okay let us know what exactly is the problem please if you know what exactly is the problem let us know it's true because a lot of people they are in the process of getting and uh, applying to schools and all and then school will give you admission school will now give you admission then it's now be the embassy that will refuse to who exactly is the problem let's start let's know so i will start sending the email and prayers to them but is she the stand up from any power sitting on my visa up 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 fire fire so I would know where to start directing the fire. Please, if you know what exactly is the problem, I'd like you to drop the comments so that I can tell people that, ah, this is it though. This is where maybe you need to go and get appointment from the Commissioner of Foreign Affairs or something or something. Maybe, or maybe they are giving people visa in Abuja. Maybe it's Lagos. I don't know. Please, if you have any answer to this question. I'm expecting your comments. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you in my next one. Bye.